So welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new if you are new my name is Nombuso Tabete and I'm documenting my weight loss journey here on the tube and to say that I'm looking forward to doing this challenge would be a lie because the last two weeks straight that I did by Chloe Ting literally was the death of me but I did actually love the results so it's kind of like I'm applying for punishment 2.0 which is okay, so I just decided that I'm just going to intro this before Gifa because I'm definitely finna gonna die. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth in that. And I just joined a, no, I didn't just join, but Maru, who has a YouTube channel, which I will link down below, just started a group for ladies who wanted to do the two week um, shred and actually for accountability and motivation. We are all on a WhatsApp group and basically posting every day um, how it is that we are feeling and from the messages that I've been reading so far that um yeah basically it gets worse it doesn't get any better and that there's a lot of jumping involved like it just sounds like a typical Chloe workout um, challenge nothing new I don't know why every time we think there's a new challenge it gets easier it definitely doesn't but the will to get a flat stomach definitely grows so um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you're also looking for some motivation yourself maybe just do a group and start it um yeah do it as a group i think that's the best advice i can give you in order to do a clothing challenge and finish it so i don't want to talk too much but keep watching because i have i didn't even like do my little research and see how people what people were saying about it so i'll be as shocked i'll be shocked but anyway let me get into the video and do the workout and i will see you guys in a few when i tell you chloe Ting didn't come to play when it came to this year's two week shred, she definitely brought out the big guns. While it's more like bazookas, cause wow, her movements. I wasn't expecting this many jump lunges, jumping jack, burpees, jump tucks. And funny enough, I didn't find it as difficult as the 2019 shred. Um, as always, there are modified workouts, so you don't have to injure yourself because if you do have a knee injury, you might wanna take it easy with this two week shred. Um, I think I did surprisingly well for the first few days, but I think at this point I kind of jinxed myself because it got a bit real so yeah just stay tuned to that because wow towards the middle of the first week towards day six and day seven I saw flames but I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed the movements and if you wanted to take it up a notch it was up to you and if you wanted to do modified versions it's also up to you. <music> shred and tomorrow is an active rest day and for active rest days i just try to hit 10,000 steps and just keep active as much as i can throughout the day so i'm going to be walking home and that's quite a lot of steps and then i have a lot of stuff that i need to do tomorrow like buy food buy just grocery shopping and that just needs me to walk around everywhere um and yeah there's really not much to it so that's all i'm going to be doing tomorrow and then i'll check you guys properly for day five which is going to kick my butt because there's a lot going on in day five but let me not psych myself out but tomorrow active rest day no don't listen to that guy who says rest 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 before you to rest no rest rest before you to rest 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 but today we're doing day six and um i didn't record leg day last time for you so i'm going to be showing you guys leg day the rest guys won't be boring you all with the same repetitive stuff but what I wanted to talk about is what I'm going to show you in a bit, actually. Um, there are a pair of shorts that I bought at Mr. Price. 
and only to realize when I got home that I took a large instead of an extra large because with my surprise sizes I feel like the sizing tends to be a bit smaller so when I took the large and I got home and I was just like I am not going to even bother putting on these shorts but today um, something told me just try them maybe it's all in your head and surprise surprise they did fit um, maybe sometimes I'm too much in my head and I think I'm not making any progress which I am but I just, just want to show you guys I wish I'd taken like um, a before video or pictures or attempting to fit these pants on because I'm not sure if they did fit at the time or they didn't fit but all I know is today I'm channeling my inner Chloe Ting and you'll see what I mean but just have a look they're like so cute like I fell in love with them when I saw them and I just decided to give them a go and I'm feeling so cute today I just needed that bit of motivation to actually keep me going with this challenge one thing you should know about me is that I love leg day I'm a ride or die for leg day so I definitely love the fact that I could add dumbbells and resistant bands to make the workouts a bit challenging my lower body is definitely stronger than my upper body which I definitely need to work more on but that's a story for another day I definitely looked forward to the booty and leg workouts without a doubt. Um, you can never go wrong with the leg day, you know. It always leaves me pumped and ready to take on the world. So when it came to leg day with Chloe Ting, I definitely felt like my booty grew a centimeter or two. Maybe I might be exaggerating. workout um, to do this workout the one that we do at the beginning of every workout I did that only to look at today's date it's day eight right that workout isn't there and I've already done it so I've just done an extra workout today but let me do the full body what I should have started with and let's see how it goes but yeah mm. Mm. anyway it's fine it's okay it's alright just when I thought I was killing it with this challenge, Chloe said, bitch, not on my watch. This full body workout definitely kicked my butt. First of all, it was 25 minutes long. Can we take a step back? 25 minutes long as compared to her 10 to 15 minute workout. So at some stage, I felt like this workout was not coming to an end but um, yeah, I did my level best to do it but it definitely kicked my ass and I felt like death at the end of it as difficult as this workout was for me i tried to take minimal rest as i could and push as hard as i could and when i couldn't do some of the movements i definitely did move onto modified so don't feel like you need to come and kill yourself with her workouts no baby girl if you feel like it's too much just take a breather and just go on to the modified and we feel you stronger then go back to the regular workout I'm so late right now it's like quarter to seven and my eating time my eating window period is seven so I'll just be 
little bit late i wanted to prep my food first and i'm feeling a bit more energetic today so the workouts i'll be adding ankle weights to them i know i'm gonna die but i just want to elevate my workout just but today because i'm feeling good um i don't know if i'll be able to record or not but as little as as much as i can i will because my battery i didn't charge it my phone so yeah hey your girl is doing the worst today so ankle weights chloe ting day nine Keep your back neutral, glutes engaged and core tight. You're doing well guys, we're halfway through the first set. Keep it up. <laughs> Rewind time everybody. I have to give credit where credit is due and Chloe, you made the pots to be done with the music. Damn, I was motivated from start to finish of the workout. Not at one point did I feel the need to actually whip out my speaker and play my own playlist. So just have a listen to this. everybody day 10 day 10 which means after this we'll have four more days to go but it's really just three days because day 11 is a active rest day um these pants that i'm wearing are big right now so that's why i'm wearing this waist trainer but this is an old waist trainer look at how big it is now it's just the just to hold up my pants <laughs> when i'm working out and today chloe i really hate your full body workout i really do hate your full body workout girl and then you're going to be doing abs and then that annoying thing called the plank challenge so that is today's workout i don't want to bore you guys with the same visuals so I'll check you guys again when i check in for day 12. I made it I made it I made it I made it can you tell how excited I am um, I'm in a constant battle with myself on whether I want to work out now in the morning because I just came back from my night shift or do I want to sleep and then work out later but I'm so amped today and so pumped that I just want to work out now and then I'll talk to you guys about how the challenge has been and obviously show you guys results. At this stage, I'm feeling way more positive than I did at the beginning of the challenge. So it's a win for me at that stage. Like I really don't care whether you really do see a difference or not. All I know is that mentally, physically, I'm feeling good. But let me stop talking, do day 14, have a little sit down, show you my results and
<laughs> hmm, I can laugh now, right? <laughs> but it was rough, guys. It was tough. I was defeated, deflated, demoralized, unmotivated. Gonge, anything that is bad was me. That's because I'm recording this outro for the second time. The first time was after I had completed my clothing on the 14th day. I recorded my results for you guys and recorded a banging outro because I was on a high and happy about the results. And um, the day after, I check out the video, I play it back, there's no audio. Because why? Because of me. I have no one else to blame but myself for not checking the settings on this mic. I had really given it my all and I just wanted to show you guys my hard work, even though it really doesn't translate that well in pictures, but I was just happy with the little progress that I'd made. So it's safe to say I don't have before pictures. I don't have after pictures. I do have an after video, but that doesn't make sense if you can't compare it to how I looked before. But I'll still be showing, showing you guys my results. Um, I managed to not save. Well, I tried to recover pictures but obviously the recent ones <laughs> which were permanently deleted could not be restored so i was like do i still carry on posting and i if you're watching this i decided to post this video anyway um only a few clips got deleted but majority of the video is there but yeah um let me show you the one picture <laughs> that's a before and after it's nothing drastic but yeah let me show you the one picture So that's the before and after picture, the only one that I could actually save. Um, even though the progress is not the greatest, I'm just happy that I actually was able to complete another Chloe Ting two week shred challenge um, from day one to day 14, two weeks and I gave it my all. But um, after I had viewed those pictures, I realized that, you know what, I needed just to see right remember there was a pair of jeans that i tried out i'm not sure when i think it was a month ago and a month and a half ago a month ago must have been a month ago and they didn't fit so i decided to just try them on and this is what happened I was overcome with emotions because I've been doubting myself a lot during this journey, second guessing every single decision that I make, if it's the right one, and this is just the moment that I needed to keep me going and keep me motivated that all these little things add up at the end and just keep going and to trust in the process. So that is exactly what I'm going to do moving onwards. Also taking measurements, so I just want to tell you guys how that went. I don't have a before video, so I just have to read it out for you guys it's not the biggest difference but it's there it's there so with my bust area um, i started out at 98 centimeters and now i'm at 97.5 centimeters which is this much loss <laughs> and then my belly button um, i started out at 82 centimeters now i'm at 81 centimeters which is a loss of one centimeter I will take it it's something <laughs> and then my waist my waist that started at 93 centimeters and now i'm at 91 so that is a loss of two centimeters and on this channel we don't do scales so i don't know how much i'd lost or gained in terms of weight or how much muscle mass because there's that too so the number on the scale or well, the scale does not matter to me at this stage. I think I'm over the moon and the jeans just saved the day for me because if I had not taken that video, I think I would have just felt a bit like this video wasn't good enough to go up as compared to other people's um, results that I've seen out there that are way better than mine. But I know that Chloe says everybody's different and that we won't obviously have the same progress. 
which is okay and which is why i'm still going to be posting this video and this time around i really did enjoy this challenge i don't know maybe it was the music and the fact that i could add weights whichever you wanted to switch it up i don't know i really enjoyed i really enjoyed it was a bit tougher because it was jumping jumping jacks yeah there were jumping jacks like lunges uh, there was a lot of jumping around that's what i can say for this one but i enjoyed it the most i think it's also what i told myself going into it you know that you know what i'm going to enjoy this one um, it doesn't matter what the outcome is all i know is that i'll come out of it feeling way better than i started and that is exactly what happened so um with everything that's happened <laughs> and me almost not um posting this i hope that you guys enjoy this video i hope that you also just give it a go it doesn't matter what it is that you're doing just be consistent and just be patient and you know trust the process trust the process that's how i'm going to close this video is saying trust the process and if you enjoyed it please do the things of subscribing liking and commenting down below and check out next week's video because my legs are going to be on fire but i'm not going to say too much but i'll see you guys next week thanks for watching